Hey yo, E King's fight news back in the building. Eddie Hearn is going over. He's mulling over Anthony Joshua's options after Big Baby Miller. And I was just talking about this this morning because I said, don't be surprised. Eddie Hearn comes out in the media, talks about AJ's got to fight his mandatories. AJ's got some mandatories, dude. Wasn't I just talking about this shit? Well, guess what? Eddie Hearn, back at it. It's E King Fight News, and we got more on this. All right, so y'all know what it is. The headline at Boxing Scene reads, and hold up while I blaze. If no Wilder, then Joshua still got Alexander Usyk. Joshua still got um, Kubrat Pulev. And Joshua uh, may fight someone else. But the fight that they want, of course, is Deontay, the Bronze Bomber, Wilder. Now, I'm pretty sure Eddie Hearn's not going to be in a rush to make the Kubrat Pulev fight. I mean, Pulev did have an opportunity to, to get that fight, and he did not deliver. Pulev didn't show up. Pulev pulled out. And that is why Anthony Joshua ended up fighting Carlos Takam. Now, let's get into it. What is Eddie Hearn saying here? It's E-King Fight News. Alright, so y'all see it, man. Shout out to boxing scene. If no wilder, then Joshua faces Usyk, Pulev, and others. Now, in case you didn't know... It's Wednesday, so that means Eddie Hearn did a one-hour interview with IFL TV. <laughs> That's what it means. And hey, shout out to Eddie, man! Shout out to Eddie. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody uh, sending doing one-hour interviews like that. That is this deep in the game of boxing, man. You got Bob Arum. He, he don't do no one-hour interviews. You got Al Heyman. He don't do any interviews. <laughs> you got Shelly Finkel. You know, Shelly Finkel, Shelly Finkel might do an hour. I don't know. I really don't know. But this is what Eddie had to say. I mean, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. If a title was vacated, we still fight Wilder, but it wouldn't be the undisputed fight. That's the golden. That's the golden chalice. <laughs> that's that's the crown jewel, right? So why? So that's why we want it to happen in November. December. Wow. He wants it in November, December. I hope this isn't I hope this isn't what we went through in 2018 all over again. But now he wants to fight November, December. In terms of mandatory defenses, the WBO will come against Alexander Usyk. The IBO has sorry, the IBF has Kubra Pulev and the WBA mandatory will get designated at some point. WBO with Usyk, IBF with Pulev is after the WBO mandatory. So wait a second. Wait a second. The WBO with Usyk will come before the IBF with Pulev? Is that what Eddie Hearn is saying? IBF with Pulev is after the WBO mandatory and then there would be the WBA which is not set. So Josh was going to have a log jam of mandatories. So after Miller, he's either going to fight Wilder or another fight or more likely Alexander Usyk. AJ's fight with Wilder may not be a unification belt if that doesn't happen this year. If he fights the undisputed fight, then he's got to fight Usyk after. Then he's Got to fight Pulev as another mandatory after that. And then he's got to fight the WBA one. So that's when you get into the realms of, are we vacating a belt here? Klitschko never vacated a belt, but he got criticized because of the mandatories were put in front of him. Was it Tony Thompson he fought twice? It was. Eddie knows some shit about boxing. Because Vladimir Klitschko did fight Tony Thompson fight uh, twice. 
He did fight a cruiserweight named Jean Mac Mormack. You probably never heard of that guy, but he's he was also from Quebec. <laughs> but yeah, man, Klitschko has a long list of bums on that resume, man. Oh my goodness, he fought Eddie Chambers. Do do fought Brian Jennings when Brian Jennings was worth fighting, but um, he knew he would beat Brian Jennings. Uh, he fought Sam Peter at a point where he was coming back into the game. He fought a few. He fought a few guys, man. He fought a lot of guys I forgot about because because they ain't shit. But anyways, you already know. Oh, but he did. He did fight David Hay. He did fight Pavekin back when Pavekin was some kind of a challenge. They 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 were both juiced up in that fight. No question about it. They were both juiced up. Um, but you know what? Anthony A.J. Joshua is pretty quiet on the topic. He, he seems to be focused on Jarrell Miller. Eddie Hearn out here. Gotta say, as a promoter, he does do his job. You know, he, he he's constantly trying to hype up this Wilder-A.J. fight. He's constantly putting that out there that they want to make the fight happen. Take it with a grain of salt. We don't know if it's all true. But what we do know is it seems like that, I'm just being honest, it seems like that side of the equation wants to make this fight happen sooner rather than later. For whatever reason. That, that's, that's music to my ears. And I think come May 18th when Deontay Wilder wipes out Dominic, Trouble, Brazil, there needs to be some talk about this fight. There needs to be some kind of, whether it's a post-fight interview, whether AJ, will he show up? Will AJ show up for the fight? You know, you know you're fighting in New York two weeks later. You might as well head down to the Barclays and make something happen. You know, shit like that. Like, this is this is old school shit that the fighters, like, of the past would do. They, they would show up at fights. They would, they would show up at the press conferences. And they would, they would wreak havoc, man. Even back when Arislandi Lara was looking for a fight, you know what he did? He stepped to Canelo at a post-fight presser. After, after he beat up on little Angulo, you know, after he beat up on Pero Angulo, Arislani Lara stepped to him and said, hey, you know, you, you know, you know, fans think you're ducking me, right? He said some shit like that. He stepped to Canelo and Canelo got, you know, Canelo's manhood, you know, ca suddenly came into play and said, I want to beat this dude's ass now. Make this fight happen. And, and, and credit to Canelo, he made that Lara fight happen. Was a good fight. Damn near lost that fight. Could this be that situation? Hard to say. You know, uh, it seems like the stock of Deontay Wilder has risen unquestionably. And it seems like this whole negotiation has been about fair compensation towards what could be considered the A side in the U.S. I've always said this fight is so uh, it's so polarizing because you have AJ who was universally considered the A side of the equation in 2018. That was before Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. That was before they they did very well on pay per view for a first outing, and that is before Tyson Fury went on some type of an egotistical uh, breakdown, decided he wouldn't be fighting Deontay Wilder in the rematch, and he'd run over to ESPN. Things have changed, right? Wilder is commanding his own pay-per-views now, right? Whether it's with Tyson Fury, whether it's uh, Luis Ortiz, they could have done that on pay-per-view. They could still be trying to make a, a Luis Ortiz pay-per-view. They could still be trying to do that. 
But the real question is, does Team Wilder head over to Eddie Hearn and make another offer that they cannot refuse? Does Al Heyman break the bank and say, AJ, let me give you 80 million. Let's do a fight. You know, does that does something like that happen? Is the real question. Cause um you know it, it's it's a tough fight. It's it, it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be history in the making. If we can finally get an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, um it's what the fans wanna see. It's what the it's it's what all the networks, you know, can profit off of. And it is what it is, you know. Um, let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you guys think about Eddie Hearn bringing up all the mandatories once again, trying to say, hey, you know, Pulev is out there. Usyk is is the likely opponent if it's not going to be Deontay Wilder. Uh, what do y'all think about it, man? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? And, and what would you think about an Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk? Remember, I told you guys maybe three or four months ago that that would be the next fight. That would be his AJ's next fight would likely be against Alexander Usyk. Who said that shit, man? E King's fight news, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Anyways, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But we got more on this. But what's interesting is now Eddie Hearn has brought something into the equation that all of his fans, all of them are diehard fans. AJ's got three belts. AJ's got four belts. <laughs> He's the A side. He deserves whatever, you know, whatever the fuck you think. Eddie Hearn has finally brought up Something that was an inevitable possibility. AJ's got all these titles. And as I've said before, all them titles, how much does it really mean if, if you ain't selling out in the U.S.? How much does it really mean if, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Anthony Joshua broke some kind of a pre-sale record. Because Eddie Hearn's got, got StubHub backing him. Essentially, he's got StubHub and, and some third parties that, that will buy up these tickets real quick. And will try and resell. Now we're going to see if they have success on the resale market. We'll see. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, th I think the gate will do well for New York. No, no doubt about it. It could be a hot fight, you know, AJ Miller, welterweight, sorry, not welterweight, heavyweight championship fight in Madison Square Garden. The media is going to be there. Um, will, will the UK fans show up? Will, will there be a UK contingent willing to come over for Anthony Joshua? That's what I want to know. But more importantly... Well, AJ vacated a title that he so he he covered so much. Would he would he dare would he would he vacate a title if if he was advised to by Eddie Hearn? Is the other question. Personally, I'm not too sure, but I think at some point that does become a conversation um for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. But let me know what you guys think. It's E King Fight News. And we're out. Peace.